Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying with us. We went on a short break and now we're back. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, the topic for discussion this evening is, as you know, the rise of the far right. And our guests tonight here have made uh, a number of uh, uh, suggestions, positive contributions, and the, they have identified the tactics that these far right groups are now using as opposed to what it used to be many years ago. And as a result of that, they are kind of working into the minds of the ordinary working class people and you know making them think that the problems that we've got in our society here is because of the emigrant or because of different religion or different faith even in our community well that is not the case the fact of the matter is that those visions are very narrow very tunnel-minded and don't really um, have a real uh, kind of uh, uh, understanding of the problems that we have. Instead, these people are creating problems for the multicultural community uh, in trying to get them to hate each other, blame each other because of the problems that are appearing. The problems are far deeper than what it is. And I think our guests tonight have actually identified those problems and have pointed them out quite rightly. I'm now going to kind of move on slightly towards the east end of London because every time we had the rise of the far right, they've always been defe defeated in this part of the world for some reason or another. So my next question is going to be to Alan, who is a, a resident here in Tower Hamlet and mm. lives in the Isle of uh, Dogs, mm. where we had back in 2000. And 1984. 1984. 1984. 1984. 1984. We yeah. had Derek Beacon mm. as a BNP councillor. Well, we've defeated Derek Beacon and the BNP successfully mm. in Tower Hamlets and in many parts of East London, uh, i.e., Barking uh, Bark and Dagenham, Newham, mm. and so on. But it seems that every time we defeat them, they go away. They come back in a different shape or in a different form and try to repenetrate into the community. Do you think this will happen this time? I mean, East, East London's got a, a magnificently brilliant history of being uh, the dock where immigra immigrants have come mm. and settled, whether it's Huguenots, the Irish, uh, people from across the Commonwealth, the West Indies have come to rebuild this country in you know, way, waves from Bangladesh, mm -hmm. India, Pakistan, modern immigration from, 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 e from, uh, from uh, Eastern Europe coming to build this country, invited here to come and contribute to the, to, to, to the wealth of our nation. They, we, we invite people to come to this nation and they yeah. contribute. Mm -hmm. And the reason why the far right have constantly whether it's whether it's whether it's the black shirts with Oswald Mosley, whether it's whether it's other iterations of the far right from the BNP up to modern day Stephen Lax Yaxley yeah. Lenin trying to enter trying to enter to Hamlets. What you'll find is that the far right will always crash upon the rocks of our patchwork quilt community because we are stronger together. Of course, you find absolutely. in these mixed communities that you know, people do not give in to racism because they understand mm. and they're familiar with lots of different cultures, yes. lots of different mm. people, lots of different kinds of people, mm. you know, different religions, different mm. cultures. Mm. And by living around people, living around them and by existing in, in one, in harmony and in communities, you know, you, you gain an understanding and an appreciation that for each other, yes. for each mm. other because Absolutely. you're both working towards a common goal, the good yeah. of the nation and the good of the community. Yes. Uh, and all you see is when the far right think that they come from these places where they aren't, they don't live in mixed communities where it's fear of the other, even though they don't even know what the other is. They don't yeah. even understand yes. what our communities are like. So when they come and try and tell us what to do, we stand in their way. And Alan, it's about standing in their way caller. on the street. We've got a caller on the line. Do you mind if you yeah, just please. take the call? Yeah, yeah. Hello, caller, good evening. Hello, assalamu alaikum. I'm Shafiq I'm calling from Bali. I'm listening to my brother. He's talking about the fire, right? Uh, I'm talking, I'm going to tell him, I'm Bengali. I'm, I'm, I'm born in Bangladesh. I love my motherland, but now is a great Britain is in my motherland. I have to protect my soil, great Britain soil. Now, uh, far right, whatever, BMP or conservative or Labour Party, this is political party, my friend. 
we must be control of ourselves first. That's why we are out from European Union. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm not quite sure what the question was, <laughs> yeah. but uh, yeah. I think... Just one uh, view. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for making the call from Barnsley. It shows that you are watching our program. Mm -hmm. I hope that you would be able to come and join these people on the 9th of December for the march in central London. Yes. Uh, so we look forward to seeing you there, Mr. Um, uh, from Burnley. Yes. From Burnley. Right. Sorry, Alan, you were saying. That's uh, right. I was just I was, I was just saying that because we live we live cheek by jowl with one another, yeah. we actually understand that mixed communities of different religions, races, and creeds. And, you know, we understand that you can live together. You can. It's yeah. not. It's not alien. It's not. It's not. Sure. Isn't there, no one's not taking over from anyone else. Tell me something. Do you think that? I mean, I know history speaks for itself, and in the yeah. past we have defeated them many times, no matter yeah. what shape or what form they tried to appear in. Mm -hmm. Do you think that we will be successful this time in defeating them, if the community unites? I think the community must come together, just like it has yeah. before. I mean, I, 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 look, I look forward to what other contributions have been made about yeah. how communities have organised in the past, but the spin mm -hmm. or, or, the, or the slant I would put on it is yeah. that as as Umesh quite rightly pointed out, this beast is different to the one we've seen oh. before. Yes. It's not just on the streets, it's not just on the leaflets, this oh. is in social media. Social this media. Is, this is this is online as much as it is offline. In fact, they can't they can't even organise to have a few hundred yeah. people yeah. anywhere at any yeah. given time. Yeah. But what they can do mm. is they can mm. spread hate yeah. online. They yes. can spread lies online. Yes, and that is so a real di uh, danger, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's about making sure you have a you have you have a multi pronged approach that you mm. meet yeah. them on the streets but you yeah. also yeah. meet them online. Yeah. You meet them where on they try and media. spread yeah. hate. Yeah. Whether that's online or offline. Mm -hmm. And it's about making sure we find those community leaders just like you did, just like yeah. you did and just yeah. like you did back in the day. How and important do you think Community to, to perhaps, I'll, I'll put it to you mm. first because you represent the young Fabians. How important is it for young people to be involved in this campaign to I, defeat these people? Uh, it's my opinion that the young people need to be leading the campaign. They need right. to be leading the campaign. You need to be identifying leaders mm. in youth right. groups up and down the country, different races, different colours, different right. creeds, mm. different parts of different communities and bring them together as a united front against fascism, against racism, against hate, and for hope and for progress and for, un for unity and solidarity in our communities. Thank you, Alan. I'll now go to Julie. Julie, I mean, we've heard what Alan have said. Um, you're also from a, a migrant background yeah. community, if you like, yeah? My family are Your from family, Ireland, right. I'm from Scotland, from I'm not sure that quite counts. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, no, we don't want to go down the devolution debate. <laughs> we're all children of migrants. Yeah. Yeah. How important do you think it is for the community at large mm. to organise themselves in order to defeat these people? I, th I think it's absolutely critical that we do that and actually I think a lot of the, the groundwork is already there because that's how we live side by side every day. I mean. I've been in London now for about 10 years. Um, what, and within the week that I moved down, uh, I was in Tower Hamlets um, with Wayman and uh -huh. others um, because we were out opposing the EDL, which mm. at the time was obviously Tommy Robinson, Stephen yes. Yaxley Lennon's um, you know, project. This was in 2010, Te 2010, and I thought it was an absolutely fantastic way to meet London because yeah. you come, c come down into London, you don't know where you're going, the trip's huge, you don't, you don't know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah. But we ended up in, um, in Tower Hamlets and it was just a really fantastic day because the, you know, the youth... The whole out, community came out. The whole yeah, community, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. people from the mosque, the Jewish yeah, community yeah, were yes, there. Yes. You know, and you can see all those different waves of immigration that exist there, yeah. but they're together and we were out on the streets yeah. and I, I seem to remember it's been on the move quite a lot yeah, in that demonstration. Yeah. So that was a fantastic start and I think now one of the big fears, you know, we saw on what the 9th of June, 15,000 <laughs> supporters, you know, they'd been yeah. building in the football grounds, which is oh. quite a scary prospect. Yes. Um, that was quite unprecedented scale of, la of far right street movement mm -hmm. mobilisation. This year, that was quite terrifying <laughs> for all of us, I think, to get mm -hmm. that wake up call. Um, but I think what we've seen since is that, you know, through the work that Stand Up to Racism, other organisations, oh. we've chipped, chipped away about saying this man is a fascist. Um, this is what these people are about. They say they're not racist. We flushed that out and led to having people Zeke Hyland at us on the demonstrations. So yeah. I think the campaigning works. Um, I think both at a national level, the stuff that Adam was talking about with the social media and everything is that you have to expose and split uh, the process that's going on here. But when it comes to the community, they might have 15,000 or however many thousand we might expect to see on the 9th, this Sunday in London. 
outside, you know, the cenotaph in central London, where it's Give not us quite anyone's for the community. Night. So you keep measuring I, I'll, come, I'll come back to it in yeah, a second, but I think what the trouble that they will find, and we have to be ready for them, is when they come to our communities, it's a different question. Mm. When they came to Cambridge, uh, I, I was a bit worried about it because the route was going down all these wee side streets, mm. and I thought, oh, good, it's you know, it's a Saturday afternoon, people might be still in their beds, but actually, families were coming out onto their doorstep clapping us mm. and saying this is what our community is about with their kids mm. um, that was a fantastic moment similarly in Worcester when we had the demonstration you know young old people from the mosque people from the churches different mm. groups coming no. out it was fantastic we marched through the town so I think partly the far right know this that as soon as they try to take step into one of our communities we are going to be ready yeah. but that doesn't just automatically yeah. happen yeah. we have to organize it and that's what Stand up to racism. So, really what should doing. the message be then? A, a, an attack on any one of us is an attack on Absolutely. all of us. On all of us, and we have to come we should stand right united. across yeah. the community: yeah. the young people, the colleges, the workplaces, yeah. the yeah. mosques, yeah. the uh, yeah. you know synagogues, the gurdwaras. Yeah. Everybody yeah. has to come yeah. together when when we see them come into our communities. Um, on the ninth, uh, Robinson has called this Brexit betrayal, so-called demonstration. Mm. This is not about you know whether you voted Leave or Remain, this is about a fascist trying to extend his yes, base yes. to build a street movement. So what yes. we need is everybody who is opposed to fascists to, to come, come out, out together yeah. yes. and not be t- tied down to one argument on that day over what we all think mm. about different things. I think yeah, that's a course, day about yes. unity. So we're going to be assembling at 11am at Portland Place, the BBC. Um, we want everybody to come. We want you to bring your banners. We want to p- see people from all the communities right across London coaches coming from around the country. So how many thousands of people are you expecting on the day? <laughs> a few thousand. A few thousand. Uh, but, yeah. Definitely. but the real key question is that we need a big organisation. Right. We, I joined School Kids Against the Nazis, which is part of the Anti-Nazi League, as a school kid sure. and organised in my school. Right. I think we have to rebuild those organisations on a mass scale. Sure. Sure. And I think the other thing we have to do, <laughs> central to that, so we have to... So community organisations up and down in the country have to should come, come out on the day, the day to support yeah, you. But they should That's what the message you are trying yeah, to get yeah, out. And they should join um, Stamp to Racism. And we have to do another thing, which is make Islamophobia unacceptable. We cannot norm- let it become a normalised racism because it will play the same role as anti-Semitism did in gluing together the fascist. And so we have to do those two things side yeah, by side. I think we have to do that. It's sure. an urgent task. Um, what, what do you think? Well, firstly, fascism, race hate, thrives on fear mm. and ignorance. Fear of the unknown and of uncertainty. Fear in a physical sense to try to make us scared to go around our yeah. normal day-to-day business. Yeah. So how can it be defeated? And we've got to look back at history. The history of Tower Hamlets, the history of East London. Uh, and there are other parts of the country, Bradford, Southall, okay. but we are from East London. I live okay. in East London, I represent East London. I'm privileged to be a member of the Great London Authority representing Newham, Barking, Dagenham, Tower Hamlets and the City of London. Uh, and with a very proud history. 1936, the community in Cable Street, the Dockers, uh, the, the, the Jewish community, everyone came out and stopped mostly marching. Uh, and that is what we need, mass mobilizations, to that fascism and race hatred has got no place in a community. Mm-hmm. Late 70s, the murder uh, of, uh, of Altawali and how we had community organizations. People forget 10,000 Bangladeshi yeah. origin yeah. workers yeah. marched in right. pouring rain yeah. to Downing Street. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's why I'm so glad that a small yeah. campaign that I was proud to initiate with yeah. Tower Hamlets Council yeah. and other people, that we got the bus stop outside Al Tawali, yeah. Park Rinim, yeah. 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 Street, Stroke yeah. Al Tawali, yes. yes. and credit to the committee, yes. um, uh, and so on. So credit those to TFL. Uh, yeah. and, and credit to TFL, indeed, indeed, yeah. of yeah. course, yeah. because yeah. It, uh, they are great. Um, and uh, that's the, how we got to keep a history allow of resistance, of organization, of self-defense and so on. Times have changed. In Newham, we had the marches against um, uh, Newham Youth Movement, murder of, uh, of Akhtar Ali Beg, yeah, yeah, a racist yeah. murder. Yeah. Campaigns, I was proud to be involved yeah. with Newham 7, Newham 8, when people yeah. came on defending the community yeah. against racist attacks. Bark and Dagnam, yeah. a council led by, you know, uh, by my good friend Ed Rodwell, where the community organization and trade unions and people have uh, came out and defeated the BNP mm. uh, and got rid of the BNP. The BNP had about, you know, many councillors okay. there. We've only got what two we, what we so have, make your point short. Yeah, basically, we've got progressive councils, Newham, Tower Hamlets, Barking Dagnum. We've got to work with them. We've got committee organizations. We've got to get out on the streets. The trade unions have got a very important yeah, yeah. part to play. We haven't talked yeah, about them yeah, at all. Yeah. So I know the trade union movement yeah. now. There's a massive campaign of education going yeah. on all, uh, uh, at either trade unions um, over the next few months. Football is another key area. Yeah. People like show racism, the red card. Yeah. Music is a key oh, area. Yeah, we've got to 
organized right. against racism, race yeah. hate, Islamophobia, so fascism in different together. parts of yeah. our society. Thank you very different much, much right now, Alan, very quickly. Ten seconds. Final message. Well, I mean, I, I think we just need, we, we don't not only need to come out on the streets, we need to go out on social media. You need to tackle race, hate, wherever it, wherever it rears its ugly head. That's online and that's offline as well. Thank you. Women. We have to unite together to defeat the fascist flow, both for international solidarity, mm. because Gert Felders came here and said, I want to break the British anti-fascist movement because it broke the National Front. We have to break the, them, not let them break us. Mm. Solidarity together. Julie? I would say to people watching the programme that you should look up Stand Up to Racism, you should join it. We have local groups in every area, mm. we have meetings, we have a million ways you can get involved with the campaign, but we are part of a national group to stand up to racism. And Thank you very much, Julie. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of our programme. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, on the 9th of December, they're expecting all of you to join them at the march in central London. So hope that you would be able to join them and defeat these racists once and for all. Thank you very much for watching. Have a very good evening. We shall see you again in two weeks' time. Good night.